It is time to serve up some stats here on Tennis Channel. I'm Steve Weissman, and the topic at hand is none other than the one and only Rafael Nadal. Emphatically known as the King of Clay, Nadal's 2017 season may go down as his most impressive. In January, many people doubted whether Rafa would ever regain his legendary form. But by season's end, Nadal was the number one player in the world. Let's dive into Nadal's historic numbers in 2017. Following an injury-plagued 2016 campaign, Nadal's ranking dropped to ninth in the world. Just nine months later, he would be number one. So how did Rafa rise so rapidly? Well, for starters, he was as consistent as ever in 2017. Nadal notched an ultra-impressive 67 victories, winning an astonishing 85.9% of his matches. And yet again, that was most evident on his favorite surface. Rafa went 24-1 on clay, winning four titles in five tournaments. Nadal's 2017 dominance also saw him reach brand new heights, the likes of which have never been seen in tennis history. Rafa became the first player ever to win the same tournament 10 times. And he did it in three separate events last year. With triumphs in Monte Carlo, Barcelona, and Roland Garros, Nadal took something rare and made it routine. Add a fifth Madrid title, and Rafa rose his total clay court hardware count to 53, setting a new standard for domination on the dirt. Rafa's 2017 renaissance included the majors as well, with two titles in three finals. And he remained at his peak against the game's other greats, going 12-6 and six against the top 10. 2017 was Nadal's 14th straight year with a tour title. Yeah, it pays to be the best. That's a wrap from us at Serving Up Stats. As always, you can meet us at the net to continue the conversation. 2017 served as a reminder to everyone that you should never doubt the heart of a champion and that Father Time has not yet caught up to Spain's raging bull.